Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. Today we are drifting on away. <laughs> As you can see we are not on the landing but we are pulling up to the destination so don't go nowhere and don't worry we're here pretty much. <laughs> We had to run into town today to get some dog food for the dogs. Yep, I uh, I ran out of dog food this morning, and unfortunately, uh, we won't have any for tomorrow morning if I don't go get some today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the boat ramp is pretty uh, pretty packed. They oh. are. There's a lot of people out fishing today. Turn you guys around so you can see. Hello, and welcome back to Blue Mountain Lake. This is mine and Lissa's favorite area to come to at Blue Mountain Lake. This is our Lick Creek boat ramp. And it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five boats out on the water already today. Taking advantage of this gorgeous day. Heck yeah, that's nice. Um, there is a specific reason we came over here today though. Because we want to show you guys something that's new. At least it's new to us. Um, we normally come here and we normally sit right down there. Here, I'll show you where we normally go. We normally come right down here. And we typically pull up over here to the left side. Dang, there's a lot of garbage down here today. We normally post up over here on the left side at the beach area. But the last time Lissa and I were here, we found something new. Uh, typically, this place is not for camping. You can look it up on Google Maps, and it'll say it's closed for camping. But watch this. Let me show you what we found. Let me turn around. <laughs> Man, so much garbage here. See that? It's typically not not so much garbage. Stalled out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not that you're trying to fish or anything. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five boats out on the water. And that's just at this boat ramp. Woo, look at the mountain views. <laughs> this is what I'm excited for right here. Because typically, this is a blocked off area. Yeah, typically. Yeah, look. Excuse the dirty dash and everything, but you see these concrete pillars? This used to block the road right here, and all that used to be covered up. But we're getting ready to explore something right over here. Something I'm excited. There. Look at this guys, look up there. See all that straw or the hay or whatever it is? Let's get out and check it out. Man, absolutely stunning day. You're right, Lissa. A lot of the boats are right here in this little cove area. Mm -hmm. Got one there three or four out there look baby I think there's another one over there to the left yeah I think they're preparing this area for new camping spots that's what it looks like yep so <clears throat> none of this was here last summer and there used to be a pavilion there at the top of the hill but the whole entire pavilion is gone let's take a walk up here Very interesting. Is this like the camping hill? What do you guys think? Drop it in the comments if you think if you think this is the camping hill. It's a really rock, really rocky area. 
with just a pile of straw on it. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I know this over here looks like it used to be a camping area also. Oh, look, my queen, there's stairs, actually, that go up there. You see the stairs? Not exactly sure what this is. But if you look right here, this might have been an area for a tent. See the square, the square pad? I really think this is a spot right here, my queen. And look at that view. Look, it, it is. It is. Cool. Okay. Cool. Do you want to walk up the stairs or would you rather drive around check it out and see where there is no more pavilion <laughs> this is a pretty pretty steep hill to climb actually you can see the the timber steps, look, you, uh, the tree. Looks like a tree got uprooted and pushed right in front of the steps, actually. Look at that. Like telling, like telling you not to use these stairs yeah. by putting the tree here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm already here. I'm committed. Oof. Look, remember that little picnic area over there too? Mm -hmm. All this is new to us. On our next trip here, we might have to bring some extra garbage bags to pick up this trash. Okay. That's one thing Lissa and I used to do when we used to go on hikes in Florida or to a state park in Florida. Hike in the trails and we find garbage out like this right here. Like just the garbage right there. We find some garbage. We pick it up. Man, made it to the top. <laughs> this is so wild because it was just a pavilion here. Look at this, just a pavilion here. Now this is the spot to, to camp, my queen. That's the highest point right now. Oh, there's a fire pit and a fire ring down there. I see it. Look, there's stairs to walk down there too. Walk with me, baby. Walk with me. We'll make a small circle back to the truck. They did have water and electric out here. You can see a little white pipe right there. That's an old water pipe. And they did have electrical stuff out here. You see it over down here? You'll see. Oh, watch your step. Watch your step. Hey, watch your step. This is a pretty <laughs> steep hill, guys. Watch your step.
How did we not see this before? Was it just so overgrown? Follow the steps. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Little fire ring. Not exactly sure what this is, but a, a grill used to sit here maybe. Interesting. Looks like that's a little area for a tent right there. See the big square? Hmm, okay. I like this, guys. This is really nice. Okay. Oh, look. Yeah, look, baby. There's another spot right there. Now, I'm not sure if these are spots to actually post a tent or if these are just spots to maybe like catch erosion or something like that you know i know this well, that's a daggone sidewalk <laughs> look at that that's the real deal nice well that's pretty cool and if you guys didn't know this year in may may 17th 18th and 19th here in Waveland, Arkansas, right here at Blue Mountain Lake, we will be hosting not only us, but uh, the surrounding YouTubers in our general area for the Fram Bam mm -hmm. of Arkansas. We will be hosting um, the Arkansas River Valley you uh, Arkansas River Valley Homesteaders Meetup, and it's not just for YouTubers, guys. Each and every one of you, anybody, you don't even have to be a viewer. Just some some random person. Can just come and hang out it doesn't even matter i really really would love to be able to have a chance to meet each and every one of you it would really be great there are campsites available to camp here um not so much at the lick creek area this will be hosted over at the main spot um at the waveland actual park but this is still the lake <laughs> it is a huge lake there's actually i think three or four different boat launches to be able to get to this lake so it's pretty amazing I did want to invite each and every one of you, though, if you do have time to be able to come out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of that weekend, that would be great. And if you can only make one day, try to catch Saturday, May 18th. We're going to have some scheduled events. We're going to be putting on a show, talking. Uncle David's going to be talking about stuff. Simple Life Reclaimed, Country Road Cure, uh, Possum Run Homestead, Jeff with Bobblehead. There's lots of things happening. Lots of things. <laughs> Oh, Alyssa, I know everybody's wondering, keep it blood raw. Did I get the bike put together last night that I promised everyone that I was going to do? <laughs> he says he did. <laughs> I, I said, so you didn't see that I bike? Did, I didn't see it. You didn't see the bike put together in the backyard and everything? Like before we left today? No. Really? <laughs> Guys, wh what? What? Like we walked in the backyard and everything. Like to get the gorilla cart and everything. You didn't see the bike sitting right there? Nope. It's done. It is put together. Um, I actually went after uh, Uncle David's live last night. I was live with Uncle David uh, Uncle David at Come On Homesteading. After his live, I came home and, uh, and got Serenity. And we went right out there and got to it, guys. It didn't take us too long. Got it all fixed up. It was ready to ride. Right now, I rode it around the front yard. I put her on the spot so that she could tell you guys that, yeah, I got it done because I made you a promise. And she's like, I didn't see it. <laughs> it's done. Well, I didn't see it. It's done. 100% guys. Um, dang. I wish now that I could, you know what? I'm going to post a picture when I get back to the house, not only to <laughs> dreaming with drifters, but I'm going to post it to DD5 and to Facebook. You guys can see it. It's already done. I don't want you to think. I broke a promise to you. Man. Should be fishing today, Lissa. We should be fishing today. But 
unfortunately. It's time to get back to the house and work on this dog, uh, Brian, a little bit. We actually had big plans today. I was going to show you guys something really awesome. I had plans to do a working Dreaming with Drifters today. Lissa was going to be our wonderful camera person. Here, I was trying to keep the sun out of your eyes. She's going to be our wonderful camera person. Didn't work out. <laughs> I got out there. I uh, got the battery in lift. I went up to Uncle David's, got the battery, brought it back down. Battery was dead. I used the jump box. It was too dead. He tried. I tried. And then I took the other battery that I had out of Alyssa's car, the Pontiac, but it was dead too. <laughs> So, I know what's next on our list of things to get. Battery charger. I guess we're, uh, I just wanted to come out and hang out with you guys a little bit today at the lake. We were on our way back into town, or on our way back from town, grabbing some dog food. And I asked Lisa, I said, well, where would you like to drift on away with the drifters today? <laughs> she was like, I don't know, I'm thinking about dreaming somewhere. How about the lake? We love this place. This is our favorite place to come beautiful here when you're just right down the road from the house and you can just make a spur of the moment sporadic hey let's go to the lake <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic i guess we're gonna see you guys tomorrow we um we also have a uh, is the sun still in your eyes <laughs> there you go we also are going to be able to 100 percent completely finish the dog run uh, by the end of the week because we are no longer going to be joining up with the A-team and finishing Mama V's this week. I believe we're going to be finishing Mama V's roof next week. Uh, put some good time in Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday or something like that next week. Everybody just can't get together. And uh, and we need to be able to be together when we're out there. So switching the plans up, getting it done. But you know what? That frees us up to get some things we need done. Yep. Sure does. Anything, would you like to add anything before we uh, wrap it up here? Have a great day, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's feeling better out here. Almost 70 degrees. Got a nice little cool breeze going. You can see actually the wind blowing in the hair. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for helping us follow our dreams and being a part of it. We really do love sharing our life with y'all. Let me give you another another view one more time before we take off. Remember, you guys are invited. All you dreamers are invited to come out here to the lake with us this May 17th, 18th, and 19th. Keep on dreaming, drifters. Keep on chasing them. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.